Hi, Crollister here with another Nomco Arcade Long Play. Today, I am playing Fozon, a puzzle game Nomco made in 1983. Most of you people only know this game because of Nomco Museum Volume 3, which was the most successful of the PlayStation Nomco Museums. The arcade cabinet for Fozon itself was a Japan-only release. I'm not great at this game, and I can't beat the later stages in it without pause buffering, so take this as just to see me play up to the last stage in World 8, as opposed to an actual loop clear. And this game's hard, it really is. People struggle in it. So, um, without further ado, here's Fozon. This tells you in Japanese to build this shape. You move the chemic around the arena and collect Molex to assemble the shape shown in the middle of the arena to complete the stage. After the first stage in a world, you get this counterattack, which is represented by the Molex spinning around on the chemic, and that allows you to destroy the atomic for as long as it lasts. Touching the atomic while the Moloks are not spinning will result in a stock loss. Ha! Master Opponage! Most people struggle on this stage, to be honest. After completing the third stage of a world, you do a challenging stage. In the challenging stage, you shoot Molex out of the Kamek to destroy the Atomic. After the Atomic separates, some of the particles will escape. Just like with Galaga, the game I played previously to this one. If you get every single Atomic particle, you get 10,000 points. And if you touch the Atomic, you end the challenging stage. I did that on purpose, and you saw me miss that blue one. Yeah. In this world and onward, a duo of power molecs, as I call them, will appear. Touching them will activate the counterattack, allowing you to fight the atomic temporarily. The further you go, the shapes you have to build to complete the stage get more complex. Though you're not going to see it in this video, there is a power meter at the bottom of the screen that depletes as Moloks appear. If that depletes completely, and you can't build a shape by attaching the last Molek, you fail the stage and have to try it again. This will not cost you a life. You can build the power meter back up by rapidly detaching your Moloks. There's also a secret bonus, where if you complete the third shape with the Kamek over top the Kamek and the sample in the middle, you get an extra life. It's almost impossible to do that, though. Ignore my screwing up the first challenging stage, this one is a real deal. Another pro player's tip, if you connect Moloks to one another of the same color, you get more points. 
There are four different colors of Moloks that rotate as they spawn. The Atomic, as a formation, will not chase the Chemic. It moves around in an orbiting kind of pattern. And after a few seconds, it will separate with an alarm to warn you that it'll do so. And different colors of the Atomic have different characteristics. The red one continues its orbit after separation. The green ones will chase and try to catch you, making them the most annoying. The blue ones will split into eight in some of the later stages. And the other colors are kind of pokey and will run away in challenging stages. In some stages, the red atomic shoots alpha rays, and the green one shoots beta rays that can vaporize your molex or force them to separate from the chemic, making the later rounds even more difficult. As you can see, in this world, you are required to separate some molex at the start in order to get to the shape you need to build to win. You can press buttons to separate your Molex from the Kamek. It will usually separate the one you attached the most recently. It will always do that unless that Molex is backed up into the corners or sides of the screen. And the more Molex you have attached to the Kamek, the more limited your movement around the playfield becomes. And in turn, the harder it is to dodge the Atomic. Did you see how close the Atomic is to the Chemic as I completed that stage? <laughs> that was close. And that's how it's done. That was what I mean by the blue atomic split in the later stages. A power Moloch will appear in the later stages under some kind of desperation condition if you stay in the stage for a while and just have a few Moloch's left to go. Once the power Moloch appears, it'll deplete the power gauge quite a lot at the bottom of the screen. So keep that in mind.
What can I say? I rule at challenging stages. In some games, anyway. You probably know this, you get progressively more bonus points with every stage you clear. This game does get a little laggy in the later stages. Also, if you detach a power Molik as soon as you connect one, your counterattack wears off instantly. Did you see that the beta ray vaporized one of my Molex? You gotta watch out for that in some of the later rounds.
curse you, Orange Atomic. Oh well, nobody's perfect. Now here is where the game starts to get ridiculous by difficulty. I can't beat these worlds without pause buffering. It's that hard. I just cut those parts out of my videos. Alright, we're gonna skip those stages, because I'm afraid I'll get called out for using an offensive image. They censored World 7 in Namco Museum Volume 3. Not sure why they didn't in Arcade Archives, knowing that some other games like Yokai Chuki were censored. Anybody that can legitimately beat World 8 has no life. I'm just saying. And believe me, it gets harder from here. Much harder. The shapes you require to build and the atomic get absolutely ridiculous in this world.
Alright, now, stage 3 of World 8 is almost impossible to complete. You literally cannot make any mistakes at all, or you fail the stage. And your movement around the atomic is also critically limited because of the shape size. So I'm not even gonna bother to complete the stage, I'm just gonna game over right here. At least I scored 400,000 points. Alright, so that was Phozon. A puzzle game based on a microscopic world. Partly based on physics. Not a very fair game, though in my opinion still better than Grobda. I said before in my Zevius video that Grobe does an unfair game, in one of the few cases where I hate an arcade game by Nomco, so, yeah. I did 13 other Nomco arcade long plays, so check those out, and subscribe for more. I am Krolister Master Opponage, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.